How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back with another video. We'll do another first DOS today. This one is on Jorn, God of Winter, and his stick, his staff, cauldron, the Rhyme Staff. So before we hop into that, remember, we got a Kickstarter. If you want to buy this playmat, buy it in the Kickstarter. Woo, it's linked down below. Also linked down below is our Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon and support the channel, you can join us in Discord. It's a good time. We play games. And down below, if you're going to buy any of the cards to talk about in this video, buy them through the TCG Player affiliate link, and it helps out the channel. So we're going to hop into this now. So Jorn, God of Winter. Whenever he attacks, untap each snow permanent you control. This card is nuts. And the Rhyme Staff is not bad either. The Rhyme Staff is kind of sick. Being able to play snow, uh, snow cards from your graveyard, seems good. Seems good. So... Uh, I looked through, and out of all the snow cards that have a tap ability, only one of them actually seems really commander viable, other than lands. And it's still actually a land, but other than mana abilities. And that's Scrying Sheets, which I think should, should be an auto-include in this deck. And I need to order a copy right now, because that's going to get expensive, for sure. Um, but yeah, Scrying Sheets should be an auto-include. Like, unfortunately, there aren't more snow permanents that have really good tap abilities, but it's a good one. And so, yeah. Next. <laughs> the, you gotta attack with him, so you gotta make him unblockable and such. Unblockable are hard to kill, so you can use stuff like Trailblazer's Boots, Aqueous Form, Cloak of Invisibility, and Cloak of Mist to make him unblockable. If you want to go the route of trying to make him harder to stop, just like kill, then you can use like Dark Steel Plate, Heroic Intervention, uh, Asceticism, and Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Feast and Famine, all the swords really help with this. But Fuse and Famine is really good because it's rep repetition on the ability because it has the untap ability. So if you have instants and stuff, you can tap, you can cast them and then untap again. You can untap, cast an instant, tap, tap your lands to do that and then untap them again whenever you attack. It seems very powerful. Uh, I think one of the... Oh, also, you want to do this the turn you play, Jorn. So you're going to want to have Haste Enablers, so stuff like Lightning Greaves, Swift Foot Boots, Chariot of Victory and Hall the Bandit Lord seem pretty sweet in the deck. You're also, like, this is going to end up being Soltai good stuff. So, first of all, this commander seems awesome. Like, I'm going to end up building this commander. It's going to be a good stuff commander. It's going to be a fun deck. I'm just going to throw tons of cool cards in there. Just cards that I think are fun, neat. Like, cards that don't really have a good home, but would fit into this deck. This is going to be a fun deck to play. And... There are so many of the new commanders that I just want to build. Every time I see one, I'm like, oh, I want to build that. Oh, I want to build that. Oh, I want to build that. I'm going to end up with so many decks after this or just a couple. Of, like, I'm just going to have to pick and choose which ones I really want to build. But there's so many good options. Like, I, Wizards did a good job, I think, this time around. This set when it comes to commanders. There are so many cool ones. But back on, back on, <laughs> back on topic. Some good stuff. Uh, Leyland of Anticipation and Vidalcan Ori seem like they'd be great cards in this deck. Being able to untap and then pass, like, cast some things, like, so you have uh, Vidalcan Ori in hand. You play Vidalcan Ori, go to combat, attack, untap your lands, pass a turn. You have all your mana available and you can cast things at instant speed. That seems amazing. Plus, you can throw in stuff like Seedborn Muse and Wilderness Reclamation just to have additional untap abilities. So, like, say you have Rex Reclamation, Wilderness Reclamation in play, you untap, go to combat, no, you untap, cast things, go to combat, untap, cast things, end of turn, untap, cast things in your opponent's turns. Seems good. Seems really, really good. Uh, some of the cool cards I really want to talk about are Rhyme Feather Owl and uh, Thermal Flux. So, Thermal Flux is okay. It can trip, so you can take something that's no permanent. But Rhyme Feather Owl seems so good in the deck. Pay two mana to put an ice counter on something, and any permanent with an ice counter on it is a snow permanent. So anything that's got a good un a good tap ability, you can put an ice counter on it, untap it when you attack, use it again. It seems extremely powerful. It's, it's extremely powerful. You can also use Arkham's Weather Vane to be able to turn non-snow lands into snow lands. So like throw a make it. Gaia's Cradle of Snowland, and then you can untap Gaia's Cradle with uh, Jorn. That seems bonkers. That seems super good. 
And if you want to go really heavy into snow stuff, uh, there's a lot of good snow cards. I'm going to start off by talking about cards that aren't actually snow cards, but they synergize really well with snow cards. Yeah, Hydar, Rhymewind, Master. All these are Rhymewind stuff, which works with the Rhyme Staff. Like it's the same name. I don't know. Rhymewind Master. You pay two, tap it to return to bounce a permanent, not non land, any permanent to its owner's hand. Seems powerful. You can use Rhymewind Cryomancer to stifle stuff. Seems good. That's tap ability again. That literally is one mana tap, so it's stifle. Uh, and you got Rhymewind Task Mage, which lets you tap or untap permanence for one mana and tapping it. All these seem like very good includes in the deck. Uh, next up, the other just actual snow cards that you can throw in this deck. Some the better snow cards that I could find. You got Ice Fang Coaddle. Very good snow card, draws you a card, it's a good flash card, it's got removal abilities, it's good. Mirror Leisure Slumber, all your lands trigger it, seems very powerful. Dead of Winter is a good board wipe in the deck. You got Into the North, which is very good ramp. Winter's Rest, seems like it's soft removal, but it works pretty well in the deck. It's two mana to make it so something can't untap and it's tapped. Uh, Orin Frostfang and Orin Viper. Or in Frostbang, obviously better, but they're both good, and they both are card draw with death touch. It's powerful effects. And Cold Steel Heart, just two mana ramp that enters the battlefield tapped, but it's a snow it's snow artifact. So it's basically it's basically a diamond of your choice when you play it that also untaps from Jorn. So it seems very powerful in the deck. And now I'm just gonna talk about some fun cards to throw in a deck. So you can throw in stuff like Sublime Epiphany, Cryptic Command, Mystic Confluence, Insidious Will. All these seem very fun in the deck. You untap your lands, you pass a turn. You've got all this stuff that you can do during your opponent's turns, especially like Sublime Epiphany. You can do so many things. So you just have that available to you. If you do something you need to counter, you can counter it, and then you can also make a token, and you can also do this and do that. It's cool. I think that I love I love those cards, and I think that this is a good home for them. Uh, Crufix and Horizon Stone seem good, so that way you untap, if you have something that you really want to do, you pass a turn, like if, if you, say you got like a, a counter spell in hand, you pass a turn, there's nothing that really someone plays that you really want to counter, you can tap your mana, fill up your mana pool, untap, and still have that mana available to you, so that's nice. There's Villainous Wealth, using Crufix and Horizon Stone, you can make a lot of mana for Villainous Wealth. Uh, you got Seedborn Muse and Wilderness Wreck, which I already talked about, actually. There's Dark Depths, which is a snow permanent that you can recur with the staff, and it makes Merit Lage, which is huge token. And you can use Hex Parasite, Vampire Hex Mage, Thespian Stage, or Thief of Blood to activate it right away. It seems like that's, it's also a mana sink if you don't have those combo pieces. It's a very good card in the deck. Seems like an auto-include. You can throw in like Tassiger or Thrasios just because they're good mana sinks. And Lithoform Engine seems like a lot of fun. It's a good value card. You're going to have a lot of extra mana lying around. Might as well copy things. And if you like throw Rhyme Feather Owl Ice Counter on it, then bam, it untaps with you attack with Jorn. And lastly, I want to talk about stacks cards. So I wasn't able to find that many of these, but there's got to be more. And if there are, please comment them down below because I need to know. Okay, I need to know. So we got Tangle Wire, Winter Orb, and Static Orb. So you get around these by attacking with Jorn and untapping everything. While your opponents don't have that option. They just stuck, tapped. Seems powerful. Seems very, very powerful. Like, uh, back to basics I was thinking about, but it doesn't really work in this deck because unless you run all those uh, snow tap lands, but it doesn't help that much. So I think, I think those are very powerful in this deck. I think that this could act like if there are more effects similar to those, please let me know because that would be very powerful effects in this deck. And yeah, that's what I got for Jorn, God of Winter slash Cauldron, the Rhyme Staff. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you're building Jorn and if you have any cool tech cards that I didn't mention that you found or if you found any more of those stacks cards for this deck. Uh, like, subscribe to the channel. All right, I already said all of that. Uh, remember, we got the Kickstarter. Come and get your play mat. Oh, come and get your play mats. They're sweet. They're cool. Please, I'll sign them. Do it. Uh, 
And we have the Patreon, and we got TCG, TCG Player Affiliate Link. If you're gonna buy any of the cards that I talked about, buy them through there. I'm gonna be buying some of these cards right now, actually, and I'll be buying them through my own link. So, do it. Do it. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.